All right. Hi, everybody. Um, <laughs> finally back on YouTube here again. And uh, it's my website right there. Good afternoon. Here we have the situation. Um, okay, I, I might as well not even bother with that. I'll just do it this way. Um, active, active community guidelines strikes. They never did take that one down. I don't, I don't know why. I guess it just stays there permanent. But, um, okay, they don't say what the thing is here. But the the one was um, the Satan's favorite philosophy. The other was alive and remain. Satan's favorite philosophy was down here. They uh, got me on that. Or no, up here. And then they got me on the um, alive and remain video. Um, so, I'm up to two now, so I'm just one more strike will result in the permanent removal of your channel. Uh, both of those studies were up over a year, and it was fine and everything else. And, you know, I'm seeing people talking about the pandemic and saying a lot of things and whatever else, a lot more radical than what I've said. And their channels are fine and nothing's happening. And, you know, so little head games and whatever else they play. Um, I put up a video on rum my Rumble channel. I'll show that here in a minute. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, different people are saying, just delete your account, be done with YouTube, whatever. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, if YouTube wants to remove me, then they can remove me. At this point in time, it's just a matter of prayer. Please do pray for the ministry out there. Um, you know, There's a chance that this channel could be shut down. Um, it would be stupid on YouTube's part to do that because I'm not monetized, and yet they put ads on my videos. So somebody's making, you know, monetized revenue off of my videos. No idea if it's YouTube or somebody at YouTube or you know the people actually doing the advertising. Or I have no idea. Um, it just gets you know whatever. I mean, I, it's not even a, it doesn't even get old anymore. It's just kind of expected. I don't. I'd kind of probably feel bad if they didn't you know attack me. But uh, the problem is that it slows me down, and I don't like that. It makes me inefficient. I don't like that. Um, you know, I like to just, this is the way I'm going to do things, and I just plug away at doing that. And when this type of stuff happens, and, oh, it's 14 days, you can't upload any more videos, and people start to say, oh, what's going on? Are you okay? And all this other stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's irritating. You know, just let me have my free speech and whatever, okay? Um, about alternative alternative channels here in a minute or two i just saw the comment there um yes i do have lots of alternative stuff but the problem is you know this thing happened and most people didn't even know about it it was just sort of a well, i guess he's just not making videos you know i did actually make a couple of videos um normally i do a video saturday night for saturday night and then sunday morning um and stuff in between but I haven't been able to do that in a while. And, um, you know, and again, I get my, the whole thing here was medical misinformation because I was just voicing my opinions about the pandemic. You know, I was not offering people medical advice or whatever else, you know, oh, it's just so dangerous for me to say my opinion. Oh, you know, whatever, just irritates me. Um, but if for some reason this channel gets taken down, where can you find me? Where will I be if this channel, if Born Again Barbarian disappears, you know, came and uh, started this channel in November of 2008. So it's been a long time that this channel has been up. Um, but if it gets taken down, where can you find me? Well, first and foremost, my website, kingjamesvideoministries.com, right here. Uh, you'll see if you scroll down here a little bit, um, here's my two most recent um, videos that I did over on Rumble. And um, you can check that out. Uh, I have Bible version issue videos, articles by my wife, outdoor sermons exposing the Trinity, um, donations there, about all of the different stuff there. So older video archive, uh, which would also be taken down if YouTube you know, takes my channel down. So whatever, I will continue on. It doesn't matter. One way or the other. Um, here we have my channel on Rumble. 
all of my new stuff on YouTube, including this very video right here, will get mirrored over onto Rumble. I have it set that it automatically uploads to Rumble. So you just type in King James Video Ministries, all one word, and do a search for it on Rumble, and it will bring you to my channel right there. You can see right here. Okay? So you can go over to Rumble. I will be uploading more stuff to Rumble in the future that that is more controversial where I can actually speak my mind over on Rumble and I don't have to censor my speech, which is irritating. But, um, yeah. Uh, yes, Rumble is very hard to navigate and Rumble is very much a pain if you try to download videos. I know that I have, that's why I came back to YouTube because people are saying, I download your videos, put them on DVD for older viewers that don't get online. Um, and Rumble's next to impossible to download videos and it's just a pain and I get it. I understand that's why I came back to YouTube so here's my secondary channel on um, YouTube KJ video ministries right there all right um, this one is you can see my feature channel there that's the main channel um, but this is the backup channel on YouTube uh, you can go over there and subscribe to that again if this if the main channel gets taken down I'll probably come here and um, Start uploading here, I guess, or something, and then this hook this up to the Rumble channel or something just to make it easy for people. Um, and then there's a third channel, third option that's run by another brother, um, and that's King James Video Ministries. Okay, and he's got a lot of really good playlists, has a lot of things organized into playlists that are very nice. Um, home there, you know, he mirrors most of my videos. And like I said, he has everything really organized well into playlists a lot better than I do on my channel. So those are your different options there. If something happens, if you come um, back sometime and you see that you look and you say, "What? Well, where's Brother Brian's channel at? It's gone. Well, um, you know, you'll know what happened. Uh, I saw some guy wrote in the comments. I blocked him, but he wrote in the comments that, God is is using YouTube to punish me or something like this. <laughs> okay, um, I to say it, I made the decision years ago to take a break from doing DVDs and whatever else to put my stuff for free out on YouTube. YouTube is not, you know, I was I've always been on YouTube and and there's nothing else I know how to do or something. No, if YouTube shuts me down. Um, Will be to those that do it, that censor the, the speech of a preacher. If they're that narrow minded and whatever else, and they want to attack me, then they will answer to God for it. That's the way I look at it. Um, so, you know, if they want to go on a purge and whatever else and take down anybody that's telling the truth, well, okay, fine, whatever. Um, but just pray for the ministry. Uh, we do need, need your prayers. Um, going through a lot of crazy stuff right now. Uh, just the, the spiritual attacks have been off the charts. I have just got done preaching two different sermons. I, the notes are back that way. I'm not going to bother showing them. But two really good hardcore studies um, that I just got done preaching. And I've been wanting to get wanting to get to them for days. And it has been insane. Uh, I have had three flat tires in a week. Yeah, on the same vehicle too, by the way. So I just, my son and I literally... I mean, about two minutes before the live stream started, we just got done taking all four tires off of the car. And um, I'm going to need to get all new tires because they're really cheap, uh, made in Thailand. You know, they're just paper thin. I've had uh, um, one of the valve stems went totally shot. It was you just touch the valve stem, it, you know, leaking. So I had to take the whole tire off. and. Uh, get that fixed and then I had um, two tires uh, with uh, one had a puncture wound the other one or what wound puncture in it and then the other one actually still had the nail in it and so I plugged those that's not a big deal you can do that pretty quickly with the little tire plug kit which I've done for many years um, <clears throat> so I, I fixed those and now I found out another one has a leaky valve stem so I'm just I'm tired of it. I can't keep on messing with these tires and I don't trust them, you know, going 
80 miles an hour on the interstate or something, you know, and I can't risk having them, those things just blow up and disintegrate or something. Um, so I just took the tires off. I'm going to try to get this live stream done pretty quickly, head down to the garage, drop the tires off, have them put some new tires on it. And um, that's our car. And then our Jeep that we have, our Jeep Cherokee, the yellow one I've showed in videos, um, that thing, uh, I think the fuel filter or something's going out in it. It just, we were driving it because we couldn't drive our car because of the tire issue, cruising along and it just boo, died and, and just totally died out on the interstate. And then um, I pulled off to the side and got the thing started and limped it along the side of the interstate real safe, you know, and uh, 75 mile an hour speed limits of people are just going past us. And uh, got it down and it, and worked on a little bit, got it started and, and it ran and then it sh kept shutting off in traffic and it was terrible. And then I set it, let it sit for a little bit and it seemed to run okay. And then um, it's been running fine. Then this morning we had to go to a, a run an errand back in the one back country area and um and it shut down coming back and we limped it back to the property made it back there but now i have to make an appointment for that to be fixed it's probably fuel system something but it could be electrical too i have no idea so that stuff just keeps me busy um we got the the thief guy has come back again after almost a year of not showing up and he's you know uh, one of our motion detecting lights he smashed it um so it's it's been a trying time <laughs> so hey what's going on brother brian why aren't you getting videos out and whatever well there's a few things to do so um please do keep us in your prayers we would really appreciate that uh we have this issue with uh, this wolfton um mining thing uh, if you've seen the video that i put on rumble uh, they have a, their offices are literally diagonal, just about maybe 100 yards, 120 yards, just right that way from our office here. And uh, there's um, been back and forth with a, a group here in Maine, the Northern, uh, no, National Resource Council of Maine. And I was talking to those guys and, and they had a meeting here and we were talking and things and they'd like me to go down and and hand out literature on Election Day and things. So I don't know if I'm doing that or not. I have no idea. But it's, you know, getting crazy. I'll be doing some videos on that and um, some other stuff that we found out about the whole Wolfton thing. It's not good and it doesn't even relate to uh, mining. I'll just say this. Uh, the Lord showed my wife some things. That relate to issues of national security when it comes to this whole thing. A lot more going on than just mining. I'll just say it that way. I have some ideas. We have some things we're talking about. Uh, so, um, this world is just getting nuts. Um, but yeah, we would definitely appreciate appreciate your prayers. Um, so. Um, Uh, as far as uh, donations concerned, I see one of you saying that in the comments. Um, you can do that through the website, through PayPal. We also have a GoFundMe page. Um, that's links on the website for that. Um, so, I mean, we're we're doing okay as far as we have the money to be able to fix stuff, but it's more just a time issue right now. I mean, just we're getting hit on so many different angles and stuff to just keep me away from the ministry, and uh, that's frustrating. So um, that's the main prayer request that the Lord's will be done with YouTube. If this main channel gets shut down, well, okay. I'll be on the secondary channel here just to go over that again, just in case you didn't see. If the if this main channel here that you're seeing in, in front of you, if this goes down, then I will be here at this one. And this is another mirror uh, channel where he'll be uploading my stuff as well. and. Anything that's uploaded on YouTube goes to the Rumble channel. Just go to King James Video Ministries at Rumble, and then you'll find me there and whatever. And I will definitely make videos updating people. And you can also check out our website. Right there is the donations button. 
Okay, right there's the PayPal thing. Um, go back to the main page, and there's also a PayPal donation thing right there. And you get down through. Where's the? Uh, yeah, there's the new Go GoFundMe page for donations right there. So that will hopefully cover everything I need to say right now. I will be bringing out more stuff in other videos. Um, so crazy times. But uh, two really good sermons coming up for this weekend. I, I'm uploading the right off right now off my camera and my my audio recorder uh, and try to ed get those edited and they'll be up Saturday night at 10 p.m. and Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here so I think that's it so we will see everybody in the future hopefully I'll be able to have more time to get more stuff done um, I'm sorry to anybody out there if I haven't gotten back to your email or your letter or whatever else it's just been absolutely insane here so um, Oh, and I was sick too. That was another one. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about that one. Yeah, I was sick for a couple of days. Um, I learned some interesting things. I just have to say this as another little side note. Um, I was real hungry the one day, and we we had the some steak stew meat, some beef stew meat, and I made uh, twice as much because I was going to cut up some of it thin, and I would have it you know, for snacks or whatever else in the future. Well, I made a pig out of myself and I was a little bit gluttonous and I ate most of the meat and it was just way too much. And I was not working hard enough to really burn it off correctly. Ended up just getting very much jammed up, you know, uh, obstructed bowel, essentially. Let me just say, <laughs> with trying to be as delicate as I can here. And um, it basically gave me you know, flu-like symptoms because it was so bad and, uh, you know, fever and, you know, just chills and, and, uh, I didn't have a sore throat or anything, but, um, you know, other issues, nauseous and just really out of it and whatever. And I thought, you know, if I'd go to the doctor right now, which I'm not about to do, um, but healed the whole thing naturally with, you know, nutrition and also prayer. But if I thought if I'd gone to the doctor about this, um, I would be diagnosed as having a certain thing, you know, because I had a lot of the same symptoms and it was an obstruction in the bowel. It had nothing to do with a virus. So just another part of the whole thing, but, you know, just getting the whole system cleaned out and everything else, you know, detoxing from it. And, um, yeah, magnesium, and must, that's one of the things I used. Um, so yeah. Uh, magnesium and a bunch of other things. At first, I thought it was some kind of weird flu thing, and then I realized, oh no, um, there's some other issues here. Um, but so, lesson learned on that one. Um, but anyhow, that is going to be it for now. Um, please do pray for us, and um, we will see you in upcoming videos. Two good ones this weekend coming up, and some other stuff probably between now and then also coming out. So. I have to get going and um, get some tires fixed. So that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.